Fall racing continues. This time we go north, Woodbine, Toronto, and it's the Coronation Futurity nine furlongs on the synthetic surface. We have an eight horse field and the rail horse, Halo again, picked up an impressive debut victory at Churchill Downs underneath the Twin Spires. Now he goes north, has got to stretch out in distance, but the pedigree says he can do it. And it was a nice maiden victory. Came from just off the pace, drew off by four lengths, and he was bet down in that effort. And I have a feeling he'll take a lot of beating in this spot here, especially drawing the rail. And I don't see the fractions being fast here, so he should sit a good trip just off the pace again in this spot. Meanwhile, Tomcat Black is still looking for his first win. Debuted with a fourth place finish in his opening race, then came back with back-to-back -back second place finishes. He tries to stretch out and go nine furlongs in this spot for the son of Bernardini. Kunal picked up a win in his debut and has been overmatched in his last two starts. He's facing stronger company here, and he's going to have to really improve his buyer speed figures if he wants to win this race. Green Growth is another one from the first crop sire of Bairn, one for four lifetime, $60,000 yearling purchase at the Keeneland September sale. And he's been running along on the synthetic. Now he's got to face a little more pace pressure and some more horses that may improve here in their second and third lifetime starts. Please call me back. Four straight turf races to start off his career. He's one for four. Now he goes to the synthetic surface and being by hard spun out of a Rahi mare, he should improve at the synthetic distance going nine furlongs. He is definitely one to consider. Northern Thunder should be one of the favorites. An impressive victory three races back, then went on the turf and then stretched out longer on the synthetic the last time. He goes back to synthetic and he goes a little bit cut in class after his last two efforts. Justin Stein rides this son of creative cause. Muskoka Gold is your most likely favorite. Was bet down to three to one in the Grey Cup. Disappointed, finishing second that day. But that was a nine horse field, went wide. Now the race flow favored him that day as he came off the pace with some fast fractions. The fractions should be a little bit slow here and he is capable of pressing the pace. So Muskoka Gold is gonna be one of the favorites. And the outside horse is Malibu Mambu, a winner in his debut at Woodbine on the synthetic then went to the turf, now goes back to synthetic and goes nine furlongs. Malibu Mambu should be about five to one on the board. My top selection is going to be Halo again. I think he was impressive in his debut. He was bet down to three to one. The son of Spacetown should be the handle the nine furlongs, mainly because I think the fractions are going to be slow. Muskoka Gold is definitely one to consider for your pick threes and daily doubles. And don't, uh, don't leave out Malibu Mambu if you want to throw in another contender from the outside. I like that post for him. I like the race flow and the turf and synthetic pedigree should improve going nine furlongs here. Who do you like in the Coronation Futurity at Woodbine? Leave a comment below. Remember, hit subscribe as we race you up through the fall and into the winter racing.